Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today we'll be looking into the Cyrus Outfit mystery on Saints Row the Third. Our investigation begins back in April of 2012 when an unusual character was uploaded to the My Steelport feature on SaintsRow.com. This character, of course, had Cyrus Temple's face and armor. It was quickly downloaded and shared before disappearing. Fortunately, other users had re-uploaded the character after they added the original to their queue. But now, six years later, the My Steelport service has been officially shut down. Getting the Cyrus outfit on consoles is now sadly impossible. But this brings up the question that a lot of people were asking at the time, and that's how the Cyrus Temple character was created in the first place. We know the reason there even is a Cyrus outfit is because of the mission My Name is Cyrus Temple, where you wear his disguise on the Thermopylae. After completing the mission, however, the outfit is simply gone. Even if you go back to the mission on an older save and enter a store or a crib with the outfit, it won't allow you to save it. This would lead a lot of people to believe the character was created with mods. However, this wouldn't be the first time an outfit was considered a mod. Characters wearing the unattainable Hazman Tron suit showed up previously on the site, and even the Avatar outfit from the Matt Miller boss fight. The only difference is that these outfits could be obtained through glitches in the game. So, unwilling to believe the Cyrus outfit is a mod, I began my struggle to try and glitch it in. Looking back on how the other suits were glitched, I started with the hazmat and tron suit method. To get either one, you need to start up the trailblazing activity and rapidly cancel and restart till you glitch on the street with the suit. Then you simply need to save and load your game and you'd have the outfit ready to store in your crib. So, I tried the same method on the Cyrus Temple mission. Unfortunately, I restarted countless times but was unable to get my character to spawn on the street. Thinking the glitch may be patched, I unpatched the 360 version and attempted the glitch again with no luck. I'm guessing since the outfit is in a mission rather than an activity, the glitch won't work. As for the avatar glitch, it involves escaping the Decker.Die mission and saving the outfit in a store or crib. We already know that you can't enter a store or access your crib in the beginning of the Cyrus level, but what about after you enter the Thermopylae? Maybe at this point in the mission, whatever code that won't let you enter stores and cribs in the beginning might be disabled. Thankfully, there's already a known method to escape the Thermopylae that only involves using a Sonic Blaster. Now that I'm outside with the Cyrus outfit, I can go to a store and... Damn. Maybe a crib might work? Uh, no. At this point, I couldn't think of what else to try until I found an interesting video online. YouTube user Saints13 made a tutorial in July of 2012 on, quote, how to get the Cyrus Temple outfit. Though the video doesn't show any actual gameplay, Saints Leader's steps were so descriptive and interesting, I thought it'd be worth giving it a shot. His method goes as follows. First, you need to be on the Cyrus Temple mission. Then in the beginning of the level, head to the safe word crib. Now get a Spectre. If you don't have the Money Shot DLC that includes one, you can use the Give Spectre Cheat. Next, fly through the roof of the Safer Garage and you can get under the map. From here, fly underground to the top right of the map and jump off the Spectre. This part could be quite tricky because you'll keep leaving your followers behind. If you're skilled enough, I recommend using the Oppressor through the garage to avoid this problem. Lastly, after jumping, you should eventually teleport near the Kilbane Casino. Without moving, immediately save your game and turn off your console. Now when you reload your save, you should still be wearing the Cyrus Temple outfit. And... Ah, I swear, I've tried this method probably 20 times. I unpatched the game, attempted it in co-op, switched between the downloaded and physical version of the game and still didn't have any success. How can this video have so many likes? Why can all these people pull off the glitch in two tries but I can't? <sighs> I only have three theories why this might not be working. Remember before the Genki Bowl DLC came out? There was a glitch that was discovered where you can swim in a particular part of the ocean and get teleported to the Genki Bowl arena. This was quickly patched and couldn't be done on a cleared system cache because it was only possible in between patches. It could be possible that this glitch worked at the time because it was in between two patches as well. My other two theories are that Saints Leader made up a bunch of fake accounts to support his video, or that I've just been very, very unlucky trying to attempt this glitch. Yeah, probably not. After all this, I began to believe the Cyrus outfit was indeed nothing more than a mod, but then I stumbled onto something when screwing around. While starting up the Cyrus mission inside the Plastic Surgeon, I was able to bring up the store during the cutscene. 
I found it mostly comical, especially since your game will crash right after. But if you stay on the confirmed page till the cutscene ends, you can actually enter the plastic surgeon as Cyrus. Now, this might seem unimportant at first since there's no storing outfit option, but look here. Character gallery. This must be how the original Cyrus outfit was uploaded to the Saints Row website. So even though we can no longer get this outfit, we at least know it wasn't a mod. Well everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you have any updates to unlock the Cyrus outfit or would like to see more Saints Row investigations, please leave a comment below. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.